This is a Waffen SS tank hunter somewhere on the Eastern Front in 1944. The clothes and the figures do not fit like they do in reality. Some work has to be done so it doesn't look horrible. This has to do with the light weight of the clothes and the type of fabric used. The scale has a different influence on gravity. More modern fabrics used over the years on the figures have greatly improved the realism of the uniforms and the way they behave at this scale. The simplest technique is to use a water spray bottle and spray the fabric. Then you need to shape the fabric with your hands or with the help of tools so that it looks as close to reality and logic as possible. After drying it should have a more realistic appearance. In more extreme cases, you can use hairspray, but there may be a risk of staining the fabric. Remember that the uniforms were and are loose and the soldiers were generally thin. Fat soldiers are in movies and in reenactors. Shaping clothes makes all the difference. Just look at how the figures come out of the box and are shown in many photos on the internet that look discouraging and ugly. The helmet has a wire for attaching foliage. For the foliage I used plastic sheets that were painted to look more realistic. This tank hunter is equipped with a Panzerfaust. The Panzerfaust, tank fist, or armor fist, was a developing family of single-shot man-portable anti-tank systems developed by Nazi Germany during World War II. The weapons were the first single-use light anti-tank weapons based on a preloaded disposable launch tube, a weapon configuration which is still used today. The other weapon is an STG-44 machine gun. I already talked about it in another video. These ammo pouches are original Dragon ones made of plastic and repainted to look more realistic. This body and head are Dragon Erwin Stangenberg, 3rd Fallschirmger Division.